Hello and welcome again back to our GCP Mindset channel. It's 2021. I'm very excited about that. I know Carol is too. We are. <laughs> and so I'd like to reintroduce myself. I'm Kelsey. And I'm Carol. And we have a really fun series of videos planned for you. And before we get into the serious topics like FDA and EMA, all you need to know about vaccines and combination products, we will start with fun facts about pharmaceuticals. We have seven really interesting and funny pharmaceutical facts. We hope you enjoy. Did you know that the drug Ritalin, also known as methylphenidate, was first synthesized by Leandro Panizol in 1944 and is one of the most famous drugs for ADHD? His wife, Margarita Ritter, was particularly impressed by the increase in her tennis performance after ingestion and the drug was ultimately named after her nickname. Interesting. Coca-Cola was invented by pharmacist John Stith Pemberton in 1886. He actually wanted to invent a syrup that would relieve headaches and so it was initially advertised and sold as a medicine. How high the original cocaine content was is still a part of speculation today. Pemberton himself believed that cocaine could cure his addiction to morphine. Until the 1920s, ground Egyptian mummies were offered as medicinal products in pharmacies and sold by well-known pharmaceutical companies. It was said to help against many diseases and was also touted as an aphrodisiac. In the past, smoking was not only considered elegant, it was even considered healthy. It should make you slim, improve digestion, protect your voice, and even help against asthma. In advertising, doctors often spoke out in favor of smoking. <laughs> Heroin, developed in 1893 by chemist and pharmacist Felix Hoffman, was marketed as a pain reliever and cough medicine. It should also help with about 40 other diseases such as if you have high blood pressure, lung or heart disease. As a non-addictive drug, it was used to treat the withdrawal symptoms of morphine and opium. The cocaine obtained from the leaves of the coca bush have been used from 1879 for things like hay fever, toothache, and to even treat morphine addiction. It was also marketed for children for toothaches. For a time, it was also highly praised by Sigmund Freud. It helped them feel stronger, more concentrated, and more able to work. The beginning of cocaine use is also the birth of local anesthesia. The electric vibrator was invented in the late 19th century as a medical instrument for pain relief and the treatment of various ailments. These early vibrators became popular among the medical professions and were used for treating a wide variety of ailments in women and men, including hysteria, arthritis, constipation, amenorrhea inflammations, and tumors. Vibrators were marketed for home use in magazines from around 1900, together with electrical household goods, for their supposed health and beauty benefits. So after those seven interesting facts, you can see how far we've come in clinical trials. And we no longer give cocaine for toothaches to children. And you can also see how much is developed in science when it comes to taking care of safety of patients. And if you think of any more interesting facts, pharmaceutical facts, please put them in the comments below. Until next time, goodbye. Bye.